obviously us not not qualifying for the World Cup was a huge, huge disappointment and a and a huge failure in many people's lives and careers. And uh, it, you know, it's it was hard. You know, I was dealing with an injury, so I was was watching from home, and um, obviously felt for the guys. It was um, tough for everyone, tough for the country. And I think until we qualify for, for the next World Cup, you're going to have that pain and it's going to be obviously very difficult, but something that you can't do anything about anymore and you gotta, you got to move on and push towards the future. You know, the best way to move forward is, is to always remember it and kind of use it as motivation. But in the end, I, I think uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I think after uh, in four years, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be a lot stronger and, and ready for, for what's to come. You know, it's interesting that, that three months ago I was one of the youngest guys on the team and now I'm one of the more experienced players in, in the group. You know, we have four years to look forward to uh, playing together and, and being a leader. You know, it, it's tough just on the field and off the field. I'm not necessarily the most vocal guy, but trying to, to work on that this camp. Because I know how beneficial that was for me when I was coming into my first camp, just having guys to talk to and you know bounce things off of and who have the, the lay of land and understand what's going on. So hopefully I can try to be that for some of these younger guys here. Jordan Morris is awesome, you know, and I don't think I would have wanted anyone else to score uh, the game-winning goal uh, in, in the Gold Cup final. You know, he had lost his mark the, in the goal for Jamaica and then for him to turn around right away and score the game winner, it was great to see. He's a great player, he's a great person, uh, awesome on and off the field, works his butt off. And so, you know, I'm, I'm extremely pleased for him and I know he'll continue the direction that he's going uh, because, he, you know, he, he works hard, he deserves it. Yeah, I love Paul. Uh, <laughs> we're, uh, we're close friends and he's such a dynamic player on the field. I'm able to, to take guys on one-on-one, -on -one, push it and, and run and, and put in some really good crosses. He's very technically gifted and you watch him in finishing drills and stuff like that. He's very good. I'm excited to see what the future holds for Paul, but he's a great guy. I think my short-term goals for 2018, for me personally, is just continuing to work on, on my finishing in and around the box, trying to get a little better at that with the, with the national team, trying to continue to establish myself, get as much time as I, I can on the field. and trying to embrace that leadership role. You know, my goal for the past couple of years now has, has been my final product. You know, whether that's assist or goals. Towards the end of last year, I was able to do that with the national team as well as DC. So that's obviously my short-term goal and that's my personal goal and, and team collectively is to, to win every game uh, that we have with the national team as well as with, with DC. You know, we have 2018 to look forward to and, and to make an impact in, in the Eastern Conference.